Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited about the content of this video. This is super, super cool. So I'm a digital artist, a lot of traditional artwork when I was younger, and I find that one of the things I really have struggled with is if I'm drawing, uh, I usually use a reference or a couple references, and then when I'm done, my artwork looks so much like the reference but I feel like I'm plagiarizing. And so a lot of times I simply don't post art or I'll put it as a study of whatever artist that I was doing and, and attribute to their greatness and their skill as inspiration. But I still feel weird about artwork. And so here is a really cool uh, way to accomplish artwork that's using a reference that's not using another artist. So you can feel 100% comfortable with the artwork that you make, references as guides, and creating references using AI in a very easy way. <laughs> Such a great vocabulary. All right, so here we are in an app. Uh, this is called Crea, AI. Uh, K-R-E-A dot A-I. And uh, this is not hard at all to set up. I'm going to go to their home tab. So I'm in real-time generation. So we'll click on there. Uh, that will bring us over to this image. You can see my prompt right down. And we're going to switch to um, screen to image. So right here, this is going to give me an option of selecting different windows. I've selected Rebel 7, which is my painting program of choice. You can select any one that you'd like. You can do entire screen if you'd like, but I think that gets complicated because it's sort of course. You can also just drop uh, something else over there, like an image that you want right here on this screen, image to image. And so you can put your uh, partly drawn image in there. Okay, so this took a little bit of figuring out, and I'm going to show you uh, what I understand at this moment. Okay, now if you leave this prompt, this prompt will typically be down here, but we have this little thing here. So I moved this over, resized it using this little drag option, and this slider is going to be really key. Uh, now some of this does not work with the stylus like dragging and other things uh, so if you are using your tablet you can of course use the artist pad from tablet pro put a trackpad on the screen and your stylus won't adjust uh, natively okay so here ai strength this is really critical doing is this is deciding how much it's going to imagine so here, AI strength of 33 means it's going to deviate from this um, only 33%. Here we have it as 27, 20. And you'll notice this will repopulate relatively shortly. Uh, what you can do is you can click here. This is called random seed. So we'll click here. This will basically iterate another option, another variant. If you click on this, it'll change this text. Okay, so here you can see kind of the basic idea. Um, this is actually wonderful. Uh, so what we can do is we can click on this here, quick enhance. This will go over a bit more realistic. I'm actually not a fan. Of the changes. Um, here, you can do a couple different things. You can download, you can send to enhance and upscale, uh, which for two, there's a lot that you can do with this, making this a higher resolution resolution image. But really what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a reference image. So you can click here on download. Uh, but let's play with this a little bit more. And I want to show you what this does as we bring up this AI Now this is really cool to me because this is going uh, closer and closer and closer to what I drew. And then as we bring this slider up, you 
you can see this is modifying and this is really cool to see added the word braid so it's doing some extra work adding that braid in uh, because that's part of what i want in the actual artwork now as we bring this up even higher this is going to deviate it's going to go more like okay generally uh, leaning uh, visually to the right side or the left side we have one ear showing uh, there's something over to the side like a hand uh, as we bring this up a little higher this is going to again it's going to deviate even more really cool art this is not the same as this but i could use this as a reference uh, and we can click again on enhance to give some more uh, fidelity to it let's bring this way up high 88 percent this gives me a lot to work with it's not far off from my original one so you can use this as a as a way to create some really cool artwork. Again, no one drew this. You can use this as a reference as much as you want and, and act comfortable with the fact that you're not plagiarizing a person. Um, there may be other emotions that come up, but I feel better about this one than I do about feeling like I'm, I'm copying somebody's style. Now, if we type in here uh, a style in the style of Rockley Nader, it may or may not know what that means. This is one of my favorite artists. I really like his work. I'm not sure if I'm spelling his name right. Okay, and then on the right over here, there's a couple additional options. You can choose the different styles like cinematic, uh, which is where this one sits is, is kind of a uh, portrait -y type thing. It's got some usually epic type of backgrounds in it. Illustrate a little bit more painterly. As you can see, it's, it's got just a little more um, obviously illustrative qualities to it. Bloom. I love all of these uh, paintings. It's made like I want to save this one and this one and this one. So you may end up wasting a lot of extra time on this. Um, this is beautiful. A little bit more fairy like. And then product. This basically means it's getting rid of the background and uh, stronger lighting, like you were selling. Uh, product or uh, some clothing or something or another. Uh, let's go back to cinematic. I love the style of her eyes here on this one. Now, the problem with the quick enhance is it tends to uh, create some issues. Uh, there's these options to go over real quickly. Such beautiful art. Okay, so let's click here, and this is the brush option. So we're going to, let's say, pick some blue. We're gonna paint some blue over here. And let's make this an orange ball. And give this a moment to repopulate something. So you'll get a little bit more of this style. Let's go back up to cinematic. I love this strong lighting. Uh, now, one thing to be aware of with any AI artwork is that it'll usually put like extra fingers and arms. And so if you're drawing, it doesn't mean that it's correct. Sometimes I'm like just weird, super weird artifacts. So having um, a decent understanding of, of actual anatomy is always helpful. I hope you found this really interesting and super fun. If you did, like and share the video. Subscribe to this channel for more content. Art 
and tablets and uh, being creative in a lot of different places. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.